Warning. This video is not for minors. The characters used in this E-Federation have all given their consent. This material is make-believe and has been rated M for mature. If video game violence offends you, please click out of this video now. 18 and older only, proceed with caution. Thank you. Tomorrow night is the Hardwood Show. The entire arena will be turned into hardwood. The barricades, the stairs, the ring itself. There will be no canvas. It will be a hardwood ring. And Joe, we have got an incredible card lined up for hardwood. Oh yes, we have Mr. D. We've got our first match, which is the Rugged Rebel versus David Rivera in a first blood match. Well, this will be the first time we have seen Rugged Rebel. Now, we've seen Rugged Rebel leader plenty of times in the past, but there is a key difference. And Joe, we've been making fun of it. We've been making light of it. The colour of the t-shirt, you know, but it is like Rugged Rebel says, it is much deeper than that. It's about character, it's about personality, and it's about how far the Rugged Rebel will go to win. Oh yes indeed, Mr. D. There is a quite a big difference between Rugged Rebel Leader and the Rugged Rebel. Rugged Rebel Leader is quite a chilled guy, but the Rugged Rebel is definitely more serious and he seems more focused in the YTWE. He is looking to make his mark and step up. He is an E-Fed veteran. He's been doing this for eight, nine years at the very least. And David Rivera now being managed, being mentored by Dark God, who is the former tag team partner of Rugged Rebel. So right now, let's go and hear Dark God's thoughts on the first blood match. Dark God here, yeah, Davey! You know what? I think maybe I'm gonna stay in the back locker, see? I'm gonna be back there and I'm gonna be cheering for you. I think you can take on the Rugged Rebel, the Rugged Rebel Leader, whatever he wants to call himself. You're not a bum. You're gonna do it. Quack, quack, quack. Wrong character. Sorry, Burgess. But anyway, Davey, you can do it. I know I've been teaching you and training you and bringing you up to speed. I'm gonna have you embrace the darkness and you're gonna take on Rugged Rebel and take him down. Davey, I know you can do it. I have faith in you. And if you don't win, we're gonna beat you. Get you trained some more. We're gonna put it right into you. Yeah, you can do it. Do it, yeah. Well, that is going to be an interesting match, Mr. D. But speaking of interesting matches, we've got our first title match of the night with Cameo taking on the defending champion, Cajun Tinkerbell, in a submission match. Oh, yes. This, I believe I should know, being a booker, but I'm pretty sure this is the first submission match we've ever had here in the YTWE 18+. So, it is going to be a little bit of a history making match but it's also gonna be a history making match for Cajun Tinkerbell if she can defend it but also if Cameo wins she becomes the first ever three time women's champion whoa whoa I didn't realize Cameo had the belt twice already Mr. Day that's quite that would be quite an achievement for Cameo to do that so let's hear a little bit more about this match yeah, you know what, Cajun Tinkerdink, I mean Tinkerbell, <laughs> you've been following me around to the YTWE, then you not only participate, you take advantage, advantage of us, people who like to play semi-nicely. You and your upside down headbang has pissed me off one time too many. 
Yeah. So, you know, Cajun Tinkerbell. I'm going to just go back to working out and getting ready. Because Sunday's a big day. You know, the rooster crows in town. Yeah, I got help. I got help and I got an audience. And they're going to be crowing away like crazy for the Oregon Ducks. Cameo Collections is going to come in. Yeah. I changed my name once. It used to be C.C. Rance. But I thought I'd play nice. Well, <laughs> C.C. Rance was only resting in the background. Because I'm pissed. After a car accident, you bumped me on my head like that. You hurt my neck. Well, I'm back. I'm back. And I'm exercising. And I'm eating right. And Tink? Think. Good Tink. Good Tink. Good Tink. You're going to pay for trolling me over to the YTWE. Hmm. Look at ya. Quack. Because the ducks. Do quack back. Get ready, guys. YTWE is gonna make it and bring justice to YouTube. Follow me, will ya? <laughs> See you there. Come on, give it all to me. What? I'm stepping. I'm stepping. I'm stepping. Yeah. Get those hands. Cardio. Plus. Pulse rate. Go on. Watch out. Here I come. Just a little bit. <laughs> but I'll be there. Anywho. Cameo, I'm coming for you, boo-boo. You hear me? I'm the champion, and you're not taking that away from me. I have literally put blood, sweat, and tears into my matches. I am ready for you. You're not taking it away. And also, Boston, I got my eye on you. I'm coming for you, boo-boo. You hear me? I'm coming back from you. That match yesterday was too close, too close. I can't have that. Anywho, Cameo, I'll see you in the ring this Sunday. You better be ready, honey, because I'm ready for you. I've been practicing. I've been working out. I got this. I got this. The Omega Boston fan. A match that has got a lot of history behind it. Day one of the relaunch of YTWE back last November. I gave Crow a shot at the IC title. He didn't contact me. He didn't turn up. So I took him out of the match. I put Boston fan in. And he won that IC title. 
Boston fan took Crow's spot. But that wasn't Boston fan's fault. That was Crow's fault. Now fast forward six months later and here we are. Boston fan Crow the Omega pulls count anywhere with the number one contendership for that IC title on the line. Absolutely, Mr. D. This match, as you said, has got a ton of history, a ton of hatred from each men. But this is potentially match of the night for me. This is one I've been looking to, forward to for a long time now. He's been on the cards for a while. And I will say I am looking forward to this match very much. I am personally invested a little bit more than I may be with other matches because I have been mentoring Boston fan a bit along the way you know I'm trying to develop new stars I'm trying to build around the belts and make the belts mean something and this is what I'm doing with Boston fan and I hope I really hope that Boston fan beats Crow the Omega tomorrow night because that will be the mark of the step up a Boston fan. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, if if Boston fan beats Crow the Omega, that is a massive victory because, <laughs> sorry to remind you again, Mr. D, but Crow did beat you and you are a yeah. former YTWE champion and that means something. Crow beat me, yep, I will. I'm not denying that. He took me to another place, a place of pain. That, yeah, I have suffered that kind of pain in matches in the past. Like I said, I'm no no stranger to hardcore matches or death matches. I have no problem with those kind of things. You know, I'm happy in that environment. But you know, I am a technical wrestler. And that is where I am more at home. Crow, much more at home in that hardcore environment. And that is what Boston fan needs to get past tomorrow night is the fact that he is in crow territory you know shortly after i lost my intercontinental title my brain wasn't right i was in a funk and i want to say a special thank you to the boss man himself mr d some of your methods are a little unorthodox but they work. Damn, dude. Yeah, I can see why you're a former ch world heavyweight champion. But like I said, you bettered me. We had a fun match. And I appreciate it. But speaking of appreciation, there's another guy I'm going to be taking on tomorrow. And he talks about not hating, but appreciating. And that person... You know, I got to tell you, I think is a few fries short of a Happy Meal. I think he always has been. Now, I'm not going to burn too much time on this guy. But at the Hardwood pay-per-view tomorrow, I'm taking on Crow the Omega. Let's be honest. Let's give him a little psychological lesson. Here's a guy that hangs out wearing face paint. Why does he want to wear face paint? Because he's too afraid to let people know who he really is. And he hangs out in the dark. Well, why does he want to hang out in the dark? Because he doesn't want anybody to see him. He's afraid. That's what it is. It's all in, it's, it's all in his head. He needs to be medicated. Tomorrow, YTWE 18 Plus presents Hardwood. Oh, you better believe it's on, okay? You better bring your A-game. Crow, I don't appreciate you. I hate your guts, okay? You and I will never coexist. What do you want? You want my Intercontinental Championship number one contender. Well, you know what? That's all well and good. You want it, you got it. Crow, your feathers will be plucked. Your beak will be cut off. It's time for you to shut the fuck up. Why 
YTWE 18 plus coming at you live. I told you a storm was coming, Mr. DeVito. And after no fucking rules, I think it's evident that the landscape of the YTWE has forever been changed. And I'd like to think a little bit of that was thanks to your boy, Crow V. Now, I've really enjoyed seeing newcomers like Chronic Remorse handle things exactly like a man of my own heart. And Mistress Moo May's barbecue, proving that she is the true Mistress of Mayhem. And even happened, after having to face my old training partner and mentor, the Rugged Rebel Leader, which I never wanted to do, Rugged Rebel Leader, out of respect for you, he's even stepped it up and brought out the Rugged Rebel. And I know very soon I'm going to have to face you, but right now you and Dark God and David have something going on. Boston fan might not understand it right now, but having been trained by both of you in the past, Boston fan, when you face David in the future, you will understand why. Don't hate. Appreciate. Now bringing up my next topic, my favorite other demon in the YTWE, Robert Rage. Real soon, buddy, you're gonna have to face DeVito. And I hope Robert Rage rips DeVito a new asshole. I love watching you work, buddy. In the ring and on the promos. So just do me one favor. Save a little bit for me. A little bit for me. Cause Mr. DeVito, you don't believe me. You still don't believe me. You probably think I'm the motherfucker that took out Bob. You don't understand everything about Crow DeVito. You don't understand everything about Crow. I've cast the bones and seen the fate. And at Hardwood, it'll be too late. The truth will be told, DeVito. Boston fan. You think your little three challenges is gonna be enough? You think you're fucking ready? Are you ready to roll with the Prince of Pain? Coming for your contendership. So here we are, this is the main event, a three-way dance with Robert Rage, Rance with Jeff, and the defending champion, Uncle from Hell. Now Robert Rage has never faced either men in singles competition, so this is kind of a first for the YTWE, Mr. D. Again, another history-making night, uh, history-making moment, if you like, nothing of major historical relevance, because it's just Robert Rage. And he's not that fucking important, really, is he? But anyway, the prick got on my tits. So I'll put him in a match where I'm hoping Uncle from Hell will kick the living shit out of him. That's why he's in that match. Well, that's fair enough. You must kind of value him to some extent, Mr. D. Or is it just to avoid him for another month or so? Keeps the prick busy, doesn't it? Eh? Keeps him out of my air. Uh, I suppose that's true enough. I mean, you have got your hands full with Boston Fan and Crody Omega at the moment, so I suppose that is true. Yeah, and every other fucker who wants to call me out. I think I've been called out by half the roster. I'm a fucking commentator. <laughs> Leave me alone. But anyway, rant with Jeff. 
is exercising his rematch clause. And that is why he's in this match. He is the current Intercontinental Champion. So he will be paying very close attention to what happens between Crow and Boston Fan. But tomorrow night, he must be focused on trying to get his belt, as he calls it, back from Uncle, from Hell. Well, let's be honest, Mr. D. Rants with Jeff has got every right to call the YTWE World Championship his belt. He was the longest reigning champion in this EFED. Absolutely. Longest reigning, most defending. You know, and he beat me for the belt. So at the end of the day, that makes him the best wrestler in the world, in my book. You know? So, Jeff, yeah. This is going to be a big moment for Jeff. Can he get the belt back? And can he become the first ever free time world champion? Oh, man. This is definitely a history-making night. I personally would love to see Rank with Jeff walk out the new champion, the first three-time world champion in the YTWE. That would be a ma magical moment to see, Mr. D. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Alright, well, hold on, Joe. I just had a fucking video sent through. It's that fucking troll, Robert Rage. So let's see what this prick has got to say. Well, 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 Mr. D. I didn't expect that. Not by a long shot. You have surpassed yourself this time. But before I get onto business, I just want to cover one thing very quickly. Crow the Omega. The Prince of Pain. And yes, Crow, you are indeed the Prince of Pain. And I love watching you deliver it to absolutely anybody, especially our boss, Mr. DeVito. <laughs> and yes, Crow, I also enjoy your promos, especially the one you cut tonight. It was spot on. But let's not get too nice, too close, too complimentary. Let's not start sucking each other off the way Mr. DeVito and Boston fan are. And Crow, even though I believe what you say to be true about Vlogger Bob and Mr. D, I don't trust you. But then I don't really trust anybody. Speaking of which, I spoke and Mr. D, he listened. I requested, and you, Mr. D, you have delivered a golden opportunity at the YTWE Championship. This Sunday, at Hardwood, with myself, Robert Rage. Rants with Jeff, and the current defending champion, Uncle from Hell, in a three-way Dance and yes, rants with Jeff. It will be definitely time to dance. <sighs> you may not care about Robert Rage, Mr. D. He may be the most annoying person, troll that you've ever come across in your life, but you cannot deny that the man has got passion, he's got guts, he's got determination, and he could end up becoming the new YTWE champion this Sunday at Hardwood. Well, let me tell you this. If he does become the champion, it's going to last no longer than four days. Because I'll tell you what, on that Wednesday, I personally will take the fucking belt off of him. If not me, fuck it. I'll put Crow the Omega in that match. Because I'd like to see them two cunts rip each other apart. But before we get to Wednesday's show, Mr. D, we've still got tomorrow night to get through. David Rivera versus the Rugged Rebel first blood match. Cameo versus the defending ladies champion, Cajun Tinkerbell, in a submission match. Boston fan versus Crow the Omega, falls count anywhere. Number one contendership for the IC title on the line. Three-way dance, the main event. 
Ranked with Jeff, Robert Rage, and the defending champion, Uncle from Hell. So ladies and gentlemen, join us tomorrow for Hardwood.